is going to be our first virtual workout. I've got my little buddy here with me today at the studio, Sweet Violet. You guys might know Miss Violet Travis, she's six. And I thought it wouldn't be a bad idea um, to have our kiddos working out with us because a lot of us are going to have our kiddos at home. So I'm going to have some family friendly moves and some things that we can do together as well as ways to challenge yourself. If you have anything that you could use as props, um, we're gonna do our next video with props. This video is just gonna be us using our body. Sound like a plan? You ready, Violet? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start warming up. So we'll stand next to our workout buddy, okay? And we're gonna start, and I would suggest putting on your favorite jams on your uh, radio. I'm not playing music today. I'm just gonna kinda roll with the vibe and we'll see how it all works out, okay? So any music uh, of your choice to get you pumped, right? You ready? Okay, so we're gonna bring our arms up over our head and we're gonna start marching. We're gonna lift our knee up and crunch into our elbow and crunch and crunch, good, and crunch and crunch. And we're gonna start that crunch, right? Here we go. We're gonna really try to warm up, reach your arm up to the ceiling. Keep going, Violet, keep going. I'm actually gonna start my watch if you guys wanna keep time. Um, kind of high intensity interval workout is what we're going to be doing, right? So kick and kick and kick. Good. And kick. Now we're going to lift the knee out, out. So we're lifting out and we're going to warm up our torso, right? So you might need a little more space. How's it going? You feel warm? <laughs> we sure are. Okay. Keep going. Any way that you can move your body, you're getting tired. Okay. Why don't we do some punches and some kicks? So we're gonna drop into a squat and we're gonna punch, 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 punch. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Good, down, up, keep going, punch. This is where if you have some hand weights or I was telling some clients on the phone, you can use canned vegetables, right? Anything that you wanna hold on to. Hey, even a tennis shoe, it doesn't matter. Something that weighs something and you can kick it and punch it and drop. How you doing, Violet? <laughs> Getting tired? Okay, three more. Two more, good. One more, good, woo, huh? Now we'll do some kicks. So you're gonna hold your hands up above your heart and you're gonna bend, kick, out, bend, kick, out, bend, kick, out. Nice, keep going. We got 10 more. And just kicking and extending, just warming up your joints, being really gentle here, pointing through the toe, turning your abs on. Ooh, getting that heart rate up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling it. Three more. Good, two more. Stay with me. Good, one more set. And kick, Whew. how we doing, warm? Yeah? Okay, so we'll come down to the mat now, coming down onto your knees. If you have sensitive wrists, you can do this work down on your forearms, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some mountain climbers. You ready, Violet? So you're gonna walk up, your wrists are gonna be right in line with your shoulders, and you're gonna try to pull your belly up. If you're down on your forearms, okay, your elbows are gonna be right underneath your shoulders. Plank, how you doing? <laughs> I'm getting tired too. Okay, we're gonna pull that right knee up, left knee up. Right knee up, left knee up. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going. Six, you got this, five, let's go. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Good, push up for a little stretch. Push back for a nice down dog stretch. Letting the crown of your head hang to the floor. Your heels hang heavy to the mat. Your head hanging between your biceps. Bending the knees and pushing forward for a little child's pose. Just catching your breath here. What's a child's pose stretch look like? Can you show me? Yeah, open up your knees wide. Walk your arms forward and take some breaths. Whoo, holding that child's pose feels good. Reaching your arms long. You ready for another set? Yeah. We're gonna walk back into a second set of planks, okay? Yeah. <laughs> if you get tired and you need a break or your kiddos lose interest, you're welcome to hang and watch mommy work out or you're welcome to um, take a break at any time, okay? Whether you're a kiddo or an adult and you're tired, you're gonna walk out back into that plank position, okay? And again, you're gonna drive those knees into the chest, curling the tailbone under, crunching into those obliques. 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
Last one, push out, drop the knees down. We're going right into some push-ups. Okay, so a couple different ways to do push-ups. We can be down on our knees, okay, where we're kind of leaning our hips forward. We're creating this 45-degree uh, angle from the crown of our head down to our knees, and we're bending our elbows, pushing away from the earth. Inhale here, exhale, push away from the earth. Good, inhale here, exhale, push away. Good, bring your buns with you. Three, two, one more. Oh, push back, take a child's pose. Take a nice stretch here. So this workout can be done anywhere, right? And we didn't talk about that, we just got good, uh, going from the get-go, right? But the reality is, you can do this on the carpet of your living room, you can go out on the patio, you can go into the garage. You can even do it um, out on the grass, right, in your neighborhood. So this can be done anywhere. We're using our mats today because we're working at the studio on uh, concrete. So we're gonna do another set of push-ups. I wanna show you what that looks like from the side. Okay, so from the side, it's gonna look like this, right? If you have your hips forward and you're opening up your arms a little bit wider than your shoulders, you don't wanna sag into that low back, right? But you wanna bring your chest with you and keeping your neck long. So creating this nice long 45 degree angle, you're gonna bend and press. Bring your hips with you. Five, good, nice try. Keep your buns up there so you protect your back. Four, good, nice, Violet. Three, good. Two more, come on, stick with us and hold this last one. So you're pushing away from that mat. Little bend, little bend, little bend. Here we go, five and four. And three, neck up, two, good. And one, push back again for that child's pose stretch. Take that stretch, Violet. So great job, that was our warm up, okay? Um, that should take you somewhere between five to seven minutes. And you're able to stay in each little section longer. So right now, if you wanna get some more push-ups in, if you wanna do a couple other sets of mountain climbers, throw those in right now as we transition to our next series. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some standing work. Okay, now our heart rate's up, we got everything nice and warm, and now we're gonna start really working on toning up from the foundation up. So we'll start with our feet and our legs. So if you have something that you can hold on to in your house, whether it's a chair or the island in your kitchen or a desk or a dresser, or you're in the garage and you have a shelf, Okay, you're outside, you have a tree you can hold on to. We're gonna do a little bit of bar work. Okay, you can do this in your tennis shoes or in your bare feet. You're gonna hold on to whatever supports you with a soft bend in your elbow, and you're gonna walk up onto toe and bring your heels to touch, your knees open. Take a nice deep inhale here, you're high to the sky with your hips, and then you're gonna bend and slide the knees over the center line of the feet. Holding here, okay, so your knees are opening up, and you're gonna press against the outside of your glute and thigh, pushing the legs open. So heels together, toes apart. Okay, so open your feet like a little triangle. There you go. And then you're gonna press your legs out an inch. Out an inch, good. Out an inch, hands on your hip, pull your abs in, chest is up. Now if you have a weight, right, or you have a ball, or you have something that's sort of weighted, you can hold that out in front of you. You can also hold just your arm up over your head to increase your heart rate here. Now I want you to press out, press out, press out. Pull your abs in, press out. Pull your abs in, press out, out. Three, two, hold that press. Okay, don't let the heels drop and slide your knees down an inch. Slide your knees down an inch. See, notice my heels are staying high. Slide the knees down, slide the knees down. Good, five, pull the belly in. Four, nice, Violet, here we go. Three, good, two, hold, okay? Again, press the legs out an inch, pull the abs in. Good, Violet, relax the shoulders, out, out. Five, four, three, is this hard? Two, yeah. are you burning? Okay, now hold the legs open, hold that squeeze on those quadriceps and slide your glutes down, come up, zip the legs together. Slide the glutes down, come up, like you're sliding down a wall. Slide, come back up, good, five more. Slide, come back up, keep the heels high. Three, woo, we're almost there. Two, good, last one, all the way down, all the way up, drop the heels, woo, shake them out. How was that? That was tough, huh? Okay, some standing work here. So we really tried to warm up the inside and outside of the thighs. Now we're gonna work on forward and back motion doing some uh, squats and lunges. You know what those are? 
Okay, so let's do some lunges. So hands on the hips. Whew, my heart rate's up, how about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel like you're gonna work out? Mm -hmm. Looking good. Okay, so you're gonna step forward, bend both knees. Slip your legs back together. Ooh. Step forward with the other leg, bend both knees together. Okay, now we're gonna step this way. Step to the right, bend that knee. Slide your feet back together. Whoa, step in that way. Step over, bend that knee, and together. Okay, and this can be done anywhere, right? It's a lot easier actually if you do this in tennis shoes. If you do this outside, pushing and pulling, it's hard to get your feet back together, huh? That's the whole point. Only step as wide as your natural step. Push off, slip the legs back together. Slide step that way. Woo, bend the knees. Slide back together. Keep going. And back, good. Perfect, nice work, Violet. Step forward, zip back, good. Step out to the side, bend, good. And together, here we go, other side, woo, here we go. And together, one more set, we'll step forward, bend, back, slip those legs together. Use your abdominals, really push off that forward heel. Good, stepping over to your right or left, bend, back together, and the other side. All right, back together, woo, that was good, right? Shake out those legs, okay. So a lot of work here, kind of calisthenic stuff, bringing your heart rate up, using your big mover muscles. When we move to the mat, we'll be doing a lot more small, little intricate movement. We're gonna do some big movers now. So work in the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, squats. We all know these. Okay, so you're gonna open up your heels, reach your arms forward. Good, take a nice deep inhale here. On your exhale, slide deeper into your squat. Press up, arms, weights, whatever props you have, optional, in your hands. Inhale down here. Exhale, reach. Good, inhale down here. Good, exhale, reach. We've got some fans walking by the studio. So we're currently closed, right? We're filming this while we've been on advisement to kind of stay at home. So we're still at the studio, we're filming the work here just because I am a person that doesn't really like to work out at my house, it's hard for me. That's why I own a studio, right? So it doesn't feel natural for me to film a video in my home. I do understand right now we have to do things a little bit different than we used to. So if you have the opportunity to take this outside, get some fresh air while you do this under a tree or even in your yard or even on your patio, how nice would that be? Breathe some fresh air since we can't be together, which is so sad. Inhale, come all the way down. Exhale, beautiful violet, one more. Okay, on this next one, we're gonna hold it. Okay, roll your shoulders back, come up a little bit higher, sink down a little bit lower. See, kids know how to squat. They don't know how to cheat squats yet. Their body automatically does the right thing. So watch Violet's form, she knows what she's doing. Shoulders out of your ears, pull your abs on, pulse down, yes. Ooh, get it girl. If this six-year-old can do it, then you can do it too. Right? You're gonna be tired today, huh? <laughs> Here we go, five, four, keep going. Three, oh my God, feel the burn, two. Hold, bring your hands behind you, reach the crown of your head forward and just pulse down an inch. Every pulse, I want you to lift your hands up. So it's kind of weird, you're pulsing, lifting. Feels weird, right? Good, warm up those triceps. Five, four, three, good. Two, last one. Whoa, how are we doing? <laughs> I'm all red, you can see I'm working, I love it. Okay, how are you feeling? I'm not good. I'm not good. Are you kind of regretting offering to film with me or do you think it was a good idea? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, we'll, think, we'll talk about that later, huh? Okay, let's do one more thing together and then you can go home and play with brother and daddy, what do you think? Sound good? Okay. So one more length thing we'll do standing and then we're gonna come down to the floor for mat work. Sound like a plan? I hope you guys are enjoying what we've been doing because these are some of my favorite moves that if I can't get into the studio, if I can't get on a machine, if I do have to be at home, these are things that I, are my go-to moves. So when I thought about putting a workout together, I thought, okay, what is Pilates movement? What movements are going to make sense for our body to keep us in Pilates reformer shape? And so this is what I've come up with. So I hope you enjoy. Get some water, take a quick little break here while I'm chatting, and then we'll get right back into it. Okay, so we'll do another thing holding on to the bar. If you have the ability to hold on and pull off something, um, find that, that apparatus now. If it's a counter, if it's, um, you know, it could just be a chair and move it next to you. 
You don't necessarily need something to hold on to, but it's nice for balance. It just makes the movement even more challenging. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna face that apparatus. So you guys will be seeing us from the back and we're gonna walk into our bar or our chair or our dresser and rest our hands up there. We're not gonna pull off it. We're just gonna use it for balance. And we're gonna do the same leg kind of positioning that we did when we faced this direction. So what we're gonna do is attach our heels and then we're gonna slide, we're gonna rest our hands on top of whatever we're holding on to, our chair or our bar, and we're gonna slide our knees out. So heels are attached, perfect, Violet. And hold on to that kind of dresser on top just for balance. Okay, and we're gonna do one more set. This time we're gonna just push open, drop down, close. And we're gonna kind of do it as one move, okay? So find your halfway point. If you feel that engagement in the outside of your glutes that we were talking about before, kind of the smiley part of your buns, where your glute and your hamstring attach. Hold here, you're gonna open, slide down. So it's an open slide, open slide, open slide. Keep going, open slide, good. 10 of these, nine, eight, and we're gonna shift to the other wall. You're almost there, good. Now, if you don't need anything for balance, let's say you're so strong 